hi this video we are going to discuss about the testing methodology testing methodology is something like how many methods of testings we are going to perform on our application so what are all the different ways we can perform the testing that is something like testing methodology anyway as we discussed in the previous videos testing we are doing to deliver the 100% quality application to the client our intention as a tester our intention is to deliver a quality application to the client in order to deliver the quality application to the client we are going to perform different methods of testing in each method we are going to test something and we are going to ensure everything is according to the requirement or according to the standards of the company and the processes whatever we are having in our company each and everybody should has to follow those processes so that already the company followed those processes and delivered so many projects with 100% quality so that is the reason every project in our company we have to follow those standards and the processes okay that's fine so the coming to the different methods of testing there are four different types of testings we are going to perform or methods of testing we are going to perform static testing white box testing black box testing gray box testing static testing is something like before we are going to perform the actual testing once we get the application then we are going to perform the actual testing but for developing the application it will take some time parallelly to the development team the testing team also do their own job like preparing their cases preparing their scenarios so these all the things whatever the cases what are the scenarios they are preparing at the time of development team developing the application the testing team will concentrate on whatever the work they are doing that is correct or not whether it is following the standards or not whether it is following the processes of the company or not they have to cross check their own documentation to ensure to the client okay they are following the proper process according to the requirement they are following the proper standards of the company so static testing is coming under quality assurance these all standards and processes cross checking or verification part we are doing to verify whatever the documentation we are preparing whether it is correct or not whether it is according to the requirement or not whatever the process we are following that is according to the company standards or not so Qual so static testing is something like it is under quality assurance in this multiple techniques we are going to follow every company will follow or most of the companies will follow reviews walk throughs inspections so as i told you in the previous video from the testing side there are the six phases will be the test plan devel test development test execution results analysis and defect tracking and reporting in this uh, from the testing side we are going to prepare our scenarios and test cases at the time of the development is doing the coding we are concentrating on preparing the scenarios and test cases so before we are going to get a developed application from the development team from testing side we will prepare our plan we will prepare our scenarios and test cases and we are reviewing all our documentations whatever the documents we are having each and everything we are going to verify whether it is correct or not if this document is correct then obviously same document we are going to use in our testing so that we can it will be more chance for us to deliver a quality application to the client so that is the reason we are verifying all our documentation so that 
we are assuring the client to deliver a quality application. We are building confidence to the client that we are able to deliver, deliver a quality application to the client. So what is review? What is walkthrough? What is inspection? Review is something like, again, it is two types will be there. Reviews are two types, peer review and lead review. Peer review is something like your colleague or same designation person in your project. You prepared some test cases. You are going to give that document to the your peer or same designation person or your colleague. He is going to review that particular document, what is correct and what is wrong. He is going to update you. Based on his changes, you are going to update your documentation accordingly. And the next one is lead review. Your lead is going to your work whether it is correct or not or if, if at all any changes will be there he is going to update you and you need to update accordingly. So peer review and lead review are something like the, these are not formal whenever there is a time to the team time to the lead you all are going to meet at particular place or some conference room and you are going to discuss about that particular document. At the end you are going to get a quality documentation based on that discussion. That is about the review part. Coming to the walkthrough, it is bit formal than review. Bit formal than review. Here also we are going to discuss about the particular document. It may be a requirements or scenarios or test cases or results, whatever it is, anything. In this, moderator will be there. He is going to record each and everything we are discussing. He is going to note down each and everything and we can call it as a MOM also minutes of meeting at the end of the discussion he will be sharing the document to the each and everybody in the project so here also bit formal means at least three to four hours before we will get a mail from the lead or manager so and so document we are going to discuss so that is about the walkthrough inspection is something like more formal than review and walkthrough here we are going to discuss about same documentation, whatever the documentation we are having, test cases or scenarios or requirements, anything. Here also our intention is same, but it is more formal than review and work. At least one, two days before you will come to know what document or what is the context of the meeting, what you are going to discuss. Similarly, and in this meeting, different people are going to involve testing team will involve and sometimes the client also may involve and your test lead your manager you all are going to discuss about particular document okay and the agenda of this meeting is to deliver a quality documentation but it is more formal than review and walkthrough and along with this quality assurance team as i told you in the previous video separate qa team will be there their job is to verify Whatever the process we are following, each and everybody is, every project is following the process, same process or not, they are going to verify. They are going to cross check whether this project is following the company standards, company processes or not. Why, now you may get a question, why we need to follow the standards, why we need to follow the process. Very simple, company side, they might have done thousands of projects based on all these projects challenges they have identified some process everybody should follow in order to deliver a quality application the company feel that with that process only we can deliver a quality application we may can we may deliver quality application without this process also but there may be a less chance if we follow this process standards standards for example process uh, process wise or standards wise there is a, some templates will be there in the company test plan template we should follow the same template test scenario template test case template so th this is about the some standards everybody should need to follow so quality separate quality assurance team will, and also we need to store all these documents daily basis into a central repository where in which the client also can able to access 
our clients one drive some case some projects we need to upload all these things into client one drive so these are all the standards and processes everybody should follow every project should follow in our company so this is about the static testing so static testing is something like we are going to perform the testing before we get the application from the development team how we are performing there are four, there are reviews will be there walk throughs will be there inspections will be there again reviews are peer reviews and lead reviews walk throughs inspections so and coming to the interview point of view interviews may ask you what is static testing what is review did you ever involved in reviews yes in every project everybody will be involved in reviews you might be working on something so to cross check that is correct or not somebody in your project might be verifying the document that is a review your lead is reviewing that is a lead review everybody in testing site should follow the should involve in the reviews similarly did you ever involved in walk throughs what is walk through did you ever involved in inspection what is inspection they are all same walk throughs inspections also not, not the very junior people some experienced people will be involved into walk throughs and inspections also so these are all the different questions like what are all the standards you are following in your company what are all the best processes you are following in the company who will be note- noting down all the th- things you are discussing in these meetings a yeah, moderator will be there he will be noting down all the and he will be preparing the mom minutes of meeting each and every meeting formal meeting the mom will be generated minutes of meeting and that will be shared to everybody so that what are all the pending things are there and who is responsible for each and every pending thing will be known to each and everybody who involved in that particular meeting so these are all the different interview questions they may ask you thank you so much